talk about a topic called Division of Polynomials with two thoughts in mind, or two objectives, two pieces to take a look at. Um, the first one is to divide a polynomial by a monomial, one term. That's what this is right here, a polynomial divided by a monomial. But our second piece, and that'll be in a second video clip, is going to be to divide a polynomial by a polynomial. So what will be down here will be a binomial, could even be a trinomial. It just, the, the expressions in the numerator and the denominator will not be factorable. So it's not a problem that can be done by factoring. So we have another method to tackle division of polynomials when that's the case. So let's first focus on objective number one, dividing by a monomial. Really easy. When you have two or more terms or a polynomial up here and you want to divide by a monomial, this belongs to that term, that term, and that term. You can't just say, oh look, 5 goes into 40 eight times. And oh look, y to the fourth over y to the fourth, it's gone because it's equal to 1. You can't do that. Um, this 5 y to the fourth belongs to the 30 y to the eighth, and it belongs to the minus 15 y to the sixth, and it belongs also to the 40 y to the fourth. So I just have to visualize. You don't have to write this stuff. I don't think this is tough to do. So I don't think you have to write this piece, but you have to recognize that it belongs to that term, to that term, and that term. And so you have to say to yourself, oh, 5 goes into 30. 5 goes into 30 six times. And then because these bases are alike, they're both y's, I can subtract their exponents. So um, I'm left with here a 6y to the fourth power. And then 5 goes into 15 three times. Don't forget the minus sign right there. So 5 goes into there once, into here three times. And again, because those bases are alike, I'm going to subtract their exponents when I divide. So I'll have y squared. So again, um, the coefficient will be a 3, and then y squared. And then finally, 5 goes into 48 times. But y to the 4th over y to the 4th is equal to the number 1. Um, but I have an 8 there, so I'm going to finish that with 8 times 1, which is just 8. We're all done. We have divided a polynomial by a monomial. I may sh give it to you in a little bit of a different format, so it may not look like this when it's given to you. So it may look like... It may look like this. I might say, here's a polynomial. And I'd like you to divide it by the monomial, a negative 3x squared. And so I, I'm just suggesting that when you want to divide many terms by 1, that you go ahead and put each of those terms with that denominator of the minus 3x squared. So the minus 21x to the fourth is going to be divided by a minus 3x squared. And then this minus 3x squared has to be divided by a minus 3x squared. Please, if you need to recognize that that minus sign means plus a negative 21x squared, and that minus sign means plus a negative 3x squared, you're welcome to do that. And it might help you when you get to that point where you have to take this negative divided by a negative as a positive. But let's go ahead here. So 3 goes into here once and into here 5 times, but just don't lose that negative sign. It really goes into there a negative 1 times. So 5 over a negative 1, I might put this right here, is a negative 5. And when I subtract these exponents, I get x to the fifth. Then a negative divided by a negative is a positive, And 21 divided by 3 is 7. And when I subtract those exponents, because their bases are alike, I get x to the second power. And then finally, don't just drop that off. A lot of people want to just put nothing there. But a negative 3 divided by a negative 3 is a positive 1. And x to the second over x to the second is x to the 0 power, which is 1. So all I'm asking for is to, not, to have you not forget the 1 is the last term when we divide 
this polynomial by this monomial. Our next video clip is going to be dividing by binomials or multiple terms.